Hi boys and girls, welcome to Everyday Math Lesson 10.1, all about money. The materials that you need is notebook paper, pencil, math journal, and your template. Please use your notebook paper or if you'd rather use a whiteboard and a marker to write down your answers from the next slides. If the speed is too fast, please pause often as needed. All right, tell me or write down the fraction that is greater. Four fifths or two fifths? You can take a look at the fraction bar on the side for a visual, but yes, four fifths is greater than two fifths. How about one half or one fourth? Which is greater? If I had half, I would have two out of the four pieces. Or if I had one fourth, I would just get one of the four pieces telling me that one half is greater. For this next one, I have two fraction bars to take a look at. Which is greater if I had seven out of the eight pieces or two out of the three pieces? Seven eighths is greater than two thirds. How much money do I have if I have the following dollars and coins? Six $1 bills, four quarters, five dimes, five nickels, seven pennies. Please use your notebook to write these amounts down. If I had six $1 bills, that's the same as $6. Four quarters is the same as $1. Five dimes is the same as 50 cents. Five nickels is the same as 25 cents. And seven pennies is the same as seven pence, seven cents. When adding these up, I'm gonna start with my six and one, which I know is $7. I know that 50 cents plus 25 cents is 75 cents. And lastly, if I add on my seven cents, I know that five plus seven is 12. I carried my one, put my two below. Seven plus one is eight. Now I can add $7 plus 82 cents to give me my total of $7.82. For this next page, you'll just listen and then we'll get back to working through more problems. So we use money to buy things. Here are some of the coins and bills used in the United States. So you can see a picture of the head or the front of the penny. We know a penny is just worth one. You can see the head and the tail of a nickel. And we know that one nickel is the same as five pennies. When we're talking about heads and tails, we're talking about the coins. When we're talking about front and back, we're referring to the bills. I can see a picture of the front and the back, or I can see a picture of the head and the tail of the dime, which is the same as two nickels and also the same as 10 pennies. I can see the head and the tail of the quarter, which is the same as five nickels and 25 pennies. And lastly, I can see the front and the back of the dollar, which is the same as four quarters, 10 dimes, 20 nickels, and 100 pennies. Let's practice with this information. How many pennies in a nickel? How many pennies in a dime? 10. How many pennies in a quarter? 25. How many pennies in a half dollar? 50. How many pennies in $1? 100. How many pennies in $2? 200. And lastly, how many pennies in $10? 1,000. Now we'll move on to nickels. How many nickels in a quarter? Five. A half dollar. Remember, a half dollar is worth the same as 50 cents. 10. 
and a dollar. 20. How many dimes in a dollar? 10. How many dimes in 60 cents? 6. How many dimes in $1.20? If we know that there's 10 in $1, we can add 2 more for our 20 cents, giving us 12. And lastly, how many in $10? I know there's 10 in $1. 100. How many quarters in a half dollar? Two. How many quarters in a dollar? Four. How many quarters in ten dollars? Forty. For this one, I was able to do four times ten to get my answer of forty. Please put your notebook to the side and take out your math journal. We will now use page 230 to work through page 231. Please pause the video often to try to solve the problem on your own before hearing the answer. This is page 230, which for you is right next to page 231. For me, I'm going to just have 231 up and I'll look at 230 on my own. So complete problem one. For problems two and three, choose two items from the good buys poster on page 230. List the items and how much they cost in the table below. For each item, count out coins and bills to show several ways of paying for each item. Record two ways by drawing coins and bills in the table. We're going to be using quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and dollars. For an example, if you buy one pound of bananas and they cost 59 cents a pound, you pay with the following. Two quarters, a nickel, four pennies, or one, two, three, four, five dimes, a nickel, and three pennies. If you buy oranges for $1.49, you could pay with a dollar, a quarter, two dimes, and four pennies. Or if I didn't have any dollars, I could use four quarters, I could use four dimes, a nickel, and four pennies. There are other ways to get $1.49 too. For number two, I want you to pick one of the examples on page 230. Write your item, the cost, and what you would pay with. If you would like to pause the video to solve and then check back with mine, that would be great. The examples that I picked were hamburger buns, which I know cost 69 cents. I showed 69 cents two different ways, two quarters, a dime, a nickel, and four pennies. Two quarters is 50, 60, 5, 66, 67, 68, 69, or one quarter is 25, my dimes, 35, 45, 55, 65, and then four pennies. I also chose peanut butter, which costs $1.29. I paid with $1, a quarter for 25, and four pennies to get me to 29. I also did one dollar, two dimes, a nickel, and four pennies. For the try this, make sure that you pick two different items to add together. 
The two items I picked were the six pack of yogurt and the bananas. I know the six pack of yogurt is $2.09, the bananas were 59 cents. When I added those together, I got $2.68. I know nine plus nine is 18. I can carry my one, put my eight below, and one plus five is six, and then my $2. To make $2.68, I showed that with using dollar bills, and then two quarters for 50, a dime is 60, 65, plus three pennies to get to 268. I also showed that by doing one dollar, four quarters to get two dollars, six dimes, a nickel, and three pennies. Your page might look a lot different than my page because there are lots of different items that you could have bought and different prices and different costs to go along. This was just an example of three of the problems. You will need your template to complete math box page. Today I'm going to go over the directions. I'm going to ask that you complete your math page on your own and then tune in to tomorrow's lesson where we'll go over math boxes 10.1. In problems number one, they're asking you to double each of the following amounts. If you know what the answer is right away, you can simply write the amount. If you need to stack the numbers to solve, that works too. For number two, just to get you started, I made an array with 15 dots, putting them in groups of three. Using my array, you can see how much one third is for how many boys, and then the remaining would be the girls. For question three, you're counting by 1000s. I put in a checkpoint at the end just to keep you on track. If you don't hit that number at the end, then go back and see where you maybe made an earlier mistake. For question four, when it comes to the unit, you can choose anything for your unit. I chose apples today. Question five, this is the question that you're gonna need your template. It first is asking you to draw a rhombus. If you're unsure of what a rhombus looks like, check out your template, making sure that each side is two centimeters long. And lastly, for number six, how many dots are in this five by five array? And you'd write the number of dots on the line. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow. Thank you.